okay so i recorded it much earlier but uh, st- since i forgot to add my voice over so let's start from the beginning so this is autocad looks this is what autocad looks in web okay so you can draw a line as told to us and you can draw polygons which i have uh, tried later on this in this video so let's jump on how to uh, do it and since uh, there are few th- interfaces as you could see it's quite different from AutoCAD desktop but let's first figure out how to actually get to this page so if you type AutoCAD web here you can just open this first link and uh, you will be directed to this page here I'm waiting for the page to open uh, so yeah it takes a bit of time and i might be having some issues with my network bloody bsnl okay so i have already signed in so i will have to sign out first or i will sign it out from here okay so i will sign out first and uh, after that you can see the sign in option so here the only thing which you need to do is to sign in using your institution id suppose i am suppo- uh, studying in srm so i will be using my srm email id and if you are studying in some other organization use that cause you have one year free student education version uh, free for you to use and uh, work okay so this is how it should look after your sign in so if you have signed in here let's skip to the process where i've signed in okay so after your signing in it this is the interface you will be uh, seeing okay so you see the new drawing option here you just need to click on that so i will click on that and you can also import some dvg file if you have in your drive or uh one drive okay so for now i will i'm naming this project as polygons so cause i need to create a polygon that was that was the third question of my first autocad assignment and i will just go up and so this web version is uh, less laggy and it's quite accessible to any device but uh, the interface is quite different and it has some features uh, removed from the uh, it has some features which are not there which were present in the disk uh, desktop version okay so if you go to settings and i prefer you to check everything and to understand the interface for example i have still not understood how to actually remove the grids but i know you can figure it out since you are a csc student or something and you have uh, figured out things uh, till now in your life so you will do it so suppose i have selected the polygons now i will have to enter the number of sides so i entered the number of sides then i have to enter the edge length so i am ent- entering 30 okay so i want it to do as an inscribed circle so this all is same as what we had in our this so i will scroll out since the page is not like this and here i go you have a polygon of four sides and 30 mm you can even have the dimension so let me show you which is the dimension thing uh, since i didn't show you in the video you see the icon below the oval thing that's your dimension okay and uh, the line is here as i am showing in the video so this video was recorded earlier but i forgot to voice it over and you could see there's a ortho button in the corner as well which will restrict your line dividing and this to this uh, okay so ortho button is quite in the corner below the polar button because if i drag my cursor the things will come up okay so that's all the video is here and you could i hope this helps and you will be able to figure out things yourself and this will help you in emergency cases thank you